Before we jump into our cosmic tale, did you know 95% of you watching are not subscribed? Join our journey through the stars. Hit subscribe. It's free and keeps the adventures coming. Ready? Let's go. In the year 2432, humanity had stretched its fingers into the cosmos, colonizing planets and mingling stars with its ambition. Earth was no longer the lonely cradle of life, but a central hub in a vast network of human settlements. The notion that we were alone in the universe had been a comforting blanket of ignorance, one that was about to be ripped away. It began on a small, nondescript research outpost orbiting Gliese 667 CC, a world teeming with alien forests and oceans that whispered secrets in the wind. The outpost, manned by a crew of scientists and engineers, was tasked with studying the planet's complex ecosystems, a routine mission until the day the skies above Gliese 667 CC lit up with an array of colors unseen by human eyes. This was no natural phenomenon, it was a signal, a beacon sent across the void of space, reaching out. The crew, led by Captain Elena Reyes, a seasoned explorer with a curious mind and a heart that yearned for discovery, initiated first contact protocols, a set of procedures that had been theorized and romanticized, but never implemented. The signal led them to a hidden structure beneath the planet's surface, an ancient facility that hummed with energy and resonated with the echoes of a civilization long gone. Inside, they found technology that defied human understanding, machines that manipulated gravity, and holographic archives that told the story of the Sentinels, a race that had once guarded the galaxy against threats unknown. The archives spoke of a network, a cosmic web that connected all life, and of the Guardians, beings of immense power chosen to protect this network. Humanity, the archives revealed, was not just another species lost among the stars, but had been watched over, guided by the Sentinels, who saw in humans the potential to become the next Guardians. The revelation shook the crew to their core, challenging their understanding of humanity's place in the cosmos. But the discovery of the Sentinels' legacy was only the beginning. As they delved deeper into the archives, they learned of the Voidborn, a malevolent force that consumed worlds, Erasing all traces of life and civilization, the Sentinels had fought the Voidborn for millennia, but their numbers had dwindled, their strength waned, and their last hope was a prophecy that spoke of a new era, ushered in by beings from a distant world who would stand against the darkness. Captain Reyes and her crew realized that the beacon had not been a mere signal. It was a call to arms, an invitation to join a battle that spanned the galaxy. The weight of this destiny was heavy, but the spirit of humanity was indomitable. With the knowledge and technology left by the Sentinels, the crew began to prepare not just to defend their home, but to take up the mantle of Guardians. The outpost became a beacon of its own, sending a message back to Earth and the colonies, rallying humanity to the cause. United by a common purpose, old conflicts and rivalries were set aside as fleets were built and soldiers trained, not for conquest, but for protection. As they readied themselves for the inevitable confrontation with the Voidborn, the crew of the outpost knew that the road ahead was fraught with danger and uncertainty. Yet there was hope, a belief that in the vastness of the cosmos, the light of humanity would shine bright, a beacon of life and freedom against the encroaching darkness. The stage was set for a conflict that would determine the fate of the galaxy, a war not just for survival but for the soul of the universe itself. The air was electric with anticipation and fear, for the coming storm was unlike any other. And as the first ships of the Voidborn appeared on the horizon, casting shadows over worlds and stars, humanity stood on the brink, ready to defy the night. The fate of the galaxy hung in the balance, and the battle for tomorrow was about to begin, a testament to the courage and resilience of those who refused to go gently into that good night. The galaxy was a stage, and humanity had taken its place at the forefront, not as conquerors, but as defenders, custodians of life's fragile flame. As the Voidborn fleets emerged from the dark tapestry of space, their ships blotting out the stars with their sheer enormity, humanity's resolve was tested. Across the colonized worlds, from the terraformed landscapes of Mars to the floating cities of Venus, signals of unity and defiance were broadcast, a symphony of determination that echoed through the void. Captain Reyes, now Admiral of the United Human Fleet, stood on the bridge of the flagship, the Sentinel's promise, a vessel forged from the knowledge of the ancients, its hull humming with alien technology. The battle plans had been laid, 
strategies devised from the archives of the Sentinels. And now, as the enemy drew near, a calm settled over the fleet, a silence that spoke volumes of the courage and fear that mingled in the hearts of all who stood ready to face the abyss. The Voidborn, entities of shadow and malice, did not communicate, their intentions known only through the devastation they left in their wake. Their ships, vast constructs of dark energy and twisted metal, advanced with a singular purpose, to extinguish life. The first clash was monumental, a collision of wills and technologies that lit up the dark spaces between worlds. Human ships, powered by the principles of the Sentinel's technology, danced through the void, their weapons carving lines of light through the darkness. The Voidborn responded with waves of distortion, seeking to unravel the very fabric of reality around their foes. The battle raged, a testament to the tenacity of life in the face of oblivion. Amidst the chaos, Admiral Reyes piloted the Sentinel's promise to the heart of the conflict, targeting the Leviathan at the core of the Voidborn fleet, a behemoth that seemed to pull the darkness of space into itself. The plan was bold, a gambit that risked everything on a single strike, a hope that defeating the Leviathan would send the Voidborn into disarray. The human fleet converged, forming a spearhead with the Sentinel's promise at its tip, cutting through the enemy lines with precision and determination. As they approached the Leviathan, a surge of dark energy erupted from the Behemoth, a wave of pure void that threatened it to consume everything in its path. The Sentinel's promise held firm, its shields flaring with alien light as it bore down on the heart of darkness. Then, in a moment of silence that seemed to stretch into eternity, the flagship unleashed its payload, a weapon devised from the deepest secrets of the Sentinel archives, a light to drive back the night. The explosion was a nova, a burst of radiance that pierced the gloom, and for a moment, the advance of the Voidborn was halted. But as the light faded, the true scale of the Voidborn threat was revealed. Beyond the shattered remnants of the Leviathan, the Void stirred, and from its depths, new horrors emerged, creatures and ships that dwarfed those that had come before, a seemingly endless tide of darkness that surged forward to fill the breach. The human fleet, though buoyed by their initial success, found themselves facing an enemy that was far from defeated, an adversary that seemed to grow stronger with each setback. Admiral Reyes, staring into the abyss, realized that the battle for the galaxy was only just beginning. The unity and courage of humanity had brought them this far, but the road ahead was fraught with peril. As the Voidborn massed for another assault, the fate of the galaxy hung in the balance, and the final stand of humanity was at hand. The air was charged with anticipation, the silence before the storm that would decide the fate of stars. And as the void whispered promises of oblivion, the light of humanity burned brighter, a beacon in the darkness, ready to defy the night once more. The stage was set for a confrontation of cosmic proportions, a battle not just for survival but for the soul of the universe itself, a fight that would either usher in an era of light or condemn the galaxy to eternal darkness. As the fleets collided in a blaze of glory, humanity's resolve shone brighter than the stars themselves. In this moment of cosmic defiance, Admiral Reyes and her crew faced the abyss, not with fear, but with unwavering courage. The outcome remained unknown, but their determination to protect the light of life against the encroaching darkness promised a saga of heroism that would echo through the ages a beacon for all who would stand against the void in the battles to come.